updates. The North are preparing to leave Nigeria. Ladoja reports. The former governor of Oyo State, Rashidi Ladoja, yesterday said that it is not only the Southwest and Southeast that are agitating for self-determination, alleging that the northern part of the country is also preparing to leave Nigeria. The elder statesman said while the Southwest and Southeast were more vocal in demanding our Ududua Republic and Biafra Republic, that the North have been working silently for the possibility of Arewa Republic. He made the disclosure in an interview with newsmen in his house at Bodija, Ibado, after he observed the El Adifai prayer at the, United, at the University of Ibadan Center Mosque. Answering a question on agitation for self-determination in the country, Ladoja said, let us start with tolerance at center level. People will be talking, but we only know the beginning of a war, not the end. Nobody will remember how the war in Syria started and it is still on for years and everything they built is being destroyed. So I think that we have to do it softly. We have started democracy. We are not happy with the way it is going as we speak. But even Quran said, there will be time when God will give you good leaders. There will be time when the leaders that are given by God are not as good because he wants you people to see the difference. We should assume that this too will pass. It stated six years, it started six years ago in another two years and it will go. If we are saying because of that, we want to go or you don't want to go, then we even tells, who even tells you that the North is not even getting ready to go. Let us look at it. People in the South are talking too much and people up North are reacting too much as well. In Yoruba land, we talk, to, we talk too much. The North is always preparing to leave and they are working at it. Do you think that it is a mistake that they are constructing railway to Niger, to Niger Republic when we have not built railway from Ibadan to Kano? not even Abuja, and they say that it is the first place that we are going to spend our money. Can't the refinery in Kaduna be prepared or repaired? Why are they saying that they will build another refinery in Daura, Castina State? And they would be bringing crude oil from Niger Republic to the place. Don't let us deceive ourselves. Maybe a time will come when all of us will sit down together and separate peacefully. That is the only solution to what is going on in this country. Thank you viewers for listening to this news. This man has said it all and it's a wise talk. The wise talk, but we will still not, we will still, we will not sit down and allow them to always dictate and decide for us. Let us take the bull by the horn. Let us take the bull by the horn this time for them to know that the South are not coward or foolish. Yes, taking the bull by the horn would only pieces the Northerners, pieces and it's on a unexpected level, the government would not even sit back watching the disintegration of this country by power. That is it. That is it. The government can sit down to watch how Fulani terrorists are killing, raping, destroying lives and properties in the country. Then God will definitely expose all of them, all the evil doers that, wants, that, have, that have connived to destroy this country. Yes, God will destroy them one after the other. 
to destroy them one by one. That is it. No go area. No go area. So I've said it. Let us take the bull by the horn. If we take it by the horn, it would only lead and pieces the unexpected level the government would uh, uh, level the government would not sit back they won't be able to sit back and watch the country disintegrate uh, disintegration that is it so the disintegration will come neither through peaceful means or through violent means and the time is now the time is what is now the greatest strategy of Nigeria is that those who benefited the most from heat are the most uh, vociferous in verifying it. Yes. So I want to thank this man for saying this. Thank you for saying this because you are very much right. This man is visionary. He's a visionary. I've said this before, and all the stupid elites, Tinumbu, Amechi, and the rest, they are looking for, they are looking like cows, they are evil doers. Nobody is afraid of the North living. They should leave. They should leave. So that the separation can be peaceful. That is it, that is it. They should leave so that it can be peaceful. The, only, the, the Northerners will only go when they are certain, they are certain. Oil is finished because they are so greedy. But if they go, they too will be land lock. So everybody, people want this country to divide. So if the Northerners go, it will be a good news for them. It will be a good news for the South Easterners and South South. That is it. If they go, people, a lot of things will happen. People will be so happy, but they will be. Peace, peace radiating again. So, viewers, the future of Nigeria lies in agriculture and the north. They, they, they should not think that without them, the rest cannot eat, or without them, we cannot live. No, we can't live. They should not say because, because Nigeria lies in agriculture and the northern, northern north has. As the land, they have the land, so why would we worry? Why would they worry? Or why would we allow them to go? We should not allow them to go. We should not allow them to go. The future of Nigeria doesn't lie in, in the hands of the North. Let them go to a peace career. What is agriculture? What is agriculture? Are they the only ones? Uh, are, they the only ones are they the only ones farming? They are not the only ones farming. They're not the ones farming. That is why they creep, they creep the economy. The, the Northerners creep the economy. Which agriculture are they planning with their, with their enough land? You can imagine. The agriculture that Fulani cows will, after get, they have agriculture, they have land. After giving their, uh, the land to the South or the South Easterners. After the, the southerners plant their crops, they come and bring their cows to eat up the crops. So what are you talking about? What's the difference? They should go. They should leave. Anger cannot finish Nigerians. Anger cannot finish southerners. Are they not the ones supplying 70% of food, uh, food presently? The only thing I see is that there will not be free money as before. But there will be peace. There will be peace. I just love this man's style and what he said. His style of politics. He rarely talks, but anytime he does, his utterances are full of wisdom. So, viewers, what is your take on this? Concerning what Oga had just said, this man had just said, your comment concerning this news is very much important. Please drop them below the comment box. Thank you.